up guys, it's your girl Mila B and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about and talking through how to do a handstand. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do when practicing handstands is you want to have a really, really good lunge. With that being said, you, wanna, you don't want to have a really big deep lunge with your knee bending in front, but you want to have a nice good lunge stance with your arms by your ears. From that point, you're going to reach maybe a good inch or two above where your front foot is and put your hands flat, firmly on the ground. So now you're in something of like a toe scale for beginners because your foot is going high in the air, your back foot. From that point, you will have a controlled kick. You will kick all the way up. Don't forget to get your legs together. We don't want handstands that look crazy like this or like this. We want to have a nice, beautiful handstands with our legs together. If you can, look at your belly, have a nice neutral head, and you want to push the mat away. I always use this as a term for my clients to help automatically get squeezed and get tight when you're pushing something away. It helps with blocking, it helps with body positions, and overall, you can control the handstand. If you're spotting the handstand, if the, if the athlete is tight, you're able to catch them if they're falling crooked or you're able to catch them safely. If an athlete is falling and their legs are failing in the air, it can get a little scary if you're spotting because you may get kicked because they don't know where they're kicking their legs at. So yes, always use the term, push them out of the way when they're in their handstand and they'll automatically get tight. Also, I love a good pointed toe. Love a good pointed toe at the handstand. On your way down, you start in a lunge, you land in a lunge. You're going to then pull your foot apart as you're coming down, land back in your lunge, getting your chest up nice and tall with your arms by your ears. This is how you do a good, strong handstand. If you practice these handstands, make sure there is an adult in the room and somebody is watching you because we do not like to practice our tumbling skills without assistance. So with that being said, as always, you guys know what to do. Like, share, comment. Do not forget to subscribe. And I'm going to catch you in my next video. Bye.